I also want you guys to sleep on this a little bit because I want to. I know Debo Samuel has been a huge talking point. There, there may be movement. Um, when has there been a player that held out or threatened a holdout that ultimately got traded or blinked first and went back to have? let's say all pro success from that point on. It's it's hard for me to find those things. You talked about Darrell Revis, but I want you guys to think about this. Uh, Emmett Smith back in 93. Um, there's a conversation to be had. He missed the first two games. So I want, we were kind of discussing before the show. I want you to think about it a little bit tonight and I want to dive into it because I look at it, especially at the wide receiver position. I don't know if there's one that uh, Amari Cooper comes to mind, like he forced himself out of Oakland you know, did he have an all-pro type of career in Dallas? You know, what did that look like? Um, there are opportunities here for Devontae Adams uh, and Tyreek Hill, both who, you know, flat out said, I'm not going to sign your waiver or, or tender, and um, you need to trade me. Are they going to have the all-pro success they've had at their earlier stop? A lot of times, wide receiver play, in my opinion, has to do a lot with the scheme. It really does. You know, the, the one that comes to mind is, is Randy Moss was able to translate everywhere he went pretty much. And then Jerry Rice's move from San Francisco to the other part of the Bay in Oakland, and, and he continued his his dominance as a wide receiver there too. So it, it's difficult scheme-wise. The reason you become so great, and Debo, Samuel will be, and Debo Samuel will be wise to remember this, the reason why he's become so great in the NFL circles is because of the scheme in San Francisco, mm-hmm. how they have allowed to be success, successful, how they've – adapted and put him into the running game now i completely understand you don't want to be a guy that that's handling the football that much especially at the running back position if you were getting into him out on the perimeter as a wide receiver maybe that's a different conversation but the length of a career as a running back if you're getting pounded like that i mean these guys are so much more understanding and aware of how long they'll be in the nfl right and that second contract is the one that sets them up for life if they can get it yeah ryan it's so interesting we've been talking about this now for a couple of weeks since it first popped up and you know just kind of wondering like why he wants out is it money is it usage does he does he not want to get as many cares as running back is he worried about wear and tear debo actually tweeted this out an hour ago you know to enter too real to entertain half the stuff y'all be saying but it'd be funny though everyone wants to be a voice about a situation they know nothing about. And so I guess it's just he, Debo's kind of saying there, read between the lines, that nobody really knows what this is about, but I do, and the Niners know, and either they work it out and he's still there, or they work it out and he's gone. I'm just wondering if you have any thought as to what you may think this is all about. I, I think he just wants to be paid. I think it's a Kyler Murray situation. I, I, mean, yeah. I mean, when you're a football player, you want the rock. You want it. No matter what. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You know, if you're if you're a football player, you want that you want to carry the football. So uh, I suspect he just flat out wants to be paid. He wants to be paid. He wants to be paid early. So I understand that makes sense. Uh, If I'm a if I'm an NFL player these days, I'm out too, right? Yeah. When we come back, we'll have Chase Young to join us uh, here on the Rich Eisen show. And and if that's the case, you know, either San Francisco who has him on a rookie contract, yeah. Either you pay him or you move on from him. I mean, it, it, and it, it's really difficult to try to bring him back into the fold if you're not going to pay him the contract because, A, he most likely is going to use the only leverage that he has, and that's to hold out. That's the only leverage an NFL player has is not to be available for your football team. That's the only thing you have until you become a free agent. Then you have all the leverage in the world because you can decide where you go. Right. But while you're under contract, the loan leverage you have – is I will not play. And I'm clearly the most talented football player on your team, and you are nowhere near the caliber of a football team without me with what we did a year ago. Clearly. They're not in the NFC Championship if it weren't for Debo Samuel. Yeah, most likely not. I mean, the team also, I guess, they could franchise tag, but no player wants that, even though it's guaranteed money. True. Unrestricted free agent. That's 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 the ultimate. That's why it exists. Um I suspect he wants his bag. And if he can't get his bag, he wants to take his bag somewhere else and get it from somebody else who's willing to do it. And there are clearly teams willing to do it, whether or not San Francisco moves off their spot. I I think it's unattainable now. 
and I do think they move him, and they garner as many draft picks they can in, re- in return because of the Trey Lance situation from a year ago. Yeah, Rich has been kind of pounding the table for the Jets. You know, they have the two picks in the top ten. I mean, would you give up number ten and, you know, X, Y, Z for Debo? Is that something you would think about doing? The thing about ten is you can go get a Debo-style player and have him, have him on a five-year right. contract for, for, for pennies right? instead of paying this enormous amount of salary for it. So, no. And giving up the draft capital. Right. Yeah. I, I'm not. I, I've told you guys this before and everybody who listens, do not, do not pay wide receivers. We'll see how much of an impact Tyreek Hill and Devontae Adams have. I'm sure they'll, they'll play, pay dividends. Yeah, they'll be fine. But it's not worth it the compensation. It just isn't. Green Bay and Kansas City will have better years than both than Oakland and Miami. I guarantee you that. Ooh. Guarantee you that. Both those teams will have better seasons than either Oakland or Miami. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.